Hey everybody. So, I want to go over the topic of lying again <laughs> because the Lord, the Holy Spirit just keeps highlighting this to me and I'm going to start giving some examples um, so that people can, you know, comprehend more easily. Um, the Bible makes it very clear that liars will, will, will go to hell, okay? It's in one of those passages where it's like a laundry list. I think it says like fornicators, liars, blah, 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 right? That they will not inherit the kingdom of heaven, that they will go to hell, so on and so forth, okay? And, you know, there's a reason why God made lying or really just deception one of the Ten Commandments of what not to do, okay? Um, I mean, there's, there's multiple reasons, but, like, the overarching reason is because it's evil. It's very destructive. It's very controlling. It's very, um, not trusting God. Okay, again, the definition of sin is anything that's not rooted in faith. Faith is trusting God, okay? Um... And when you lie, it's because you're not trusting God. You're trying to control whatever it is. You're trying to control a situation. You're trying to control someone's perception. Whatever it is, okay? And uh, the Holy Spirit just keeps showing this to me in the body of Christ. You know, it's bad enough that unbelievers lie through their teeth constantly as part of a normal, you know, just their lifestyle. But apparently... That seems to be the case with a large portion of the body of Christ is that, you know, we, the, I'm not going to say we, I very rarely have, have lied. Um, I'm just not, a, I'm, you know, again, I'm not going to say I've never told a lie, but like overall, like it's, it's not my nature and I make it a point to not lie. And I'm going to give some examples. Um, but, uh, you know, we are supposed to be separate. We are supposed to stand out. We are supposed to be separate. We are supposed to not conform to the ways of the world, as Scripture says, okay? Um, it also says in Scripture that to be friends with the world, which basically means conforming to the world's ways, that you are at enmity with God. Enmity means you're basically enemies with God, okay? You know, Jesus said, if you're not uh, for me or with me, you're against me, okay? Because ultimately... People are going to go to heaven or they're going to go to hell, okay? Um, yes, in life, there, there's a lot of, you know, gray area type things, but, but there's also many things where it's either black or it's white. It's either good or it's evil, you know. Um, so, I'm going to list off a few examples. So, and I'm not going to name names right now. Um, so there's a lady that I'm in communication with, and, um, she has her own YouTube channel, she has a few videos, and, um, part of her YouTube name is a nickname that, um, from, like, one of her, her grandchildren, and, um, it was... One of those things where, like, it kind of evolved because the, you know, the the grandchild was trying to address the grandmother and couldn't pronounce it right or whatever. Or that's my impression, anyway. And so it, it became a cute little nickname thing in, in the family and, and whatever. And so she put that as part of her YouTube, uh, I guess we'll say, alias, you know, as many people do. Um, and then I was listening to one of her videos, and um, she flat out says in the video, my name is such and such. And that's an example of lying, okay? Just because your grandchild has a nickname that everyone decided was cute and it stuck because the child mispronounced your name or your, you know, how, how the child was trying to address you or, you know, whatever... Okay, that, that's a nickname. That's how nicknames kind of e organically evolve most of the time, right? But that's not your name. So she lied. And I actually just confronted her on this, and she's refusing to perceive it. 
and uh, you know, that's that. But she's still lying. She's still deceiving people that that's her name. And back when I first began communicating with this woman, she introduced herself as that. Um, I'm pretty sure she did. It was months ago. I don't remember exactly. Um, but it, it must have been that she introduced herself as that. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't have gone into the trouble of like looking up the meaning of, of the name. So this name that she's going by, that she's claiming is her name, that isn't her name, I went and looked it up, and it had certain origins from like a certain ethnicity and you know and I, so I, I used that as a conversation piece and I was like oh I see that your name means such and such and that it comes from such and such I'm stuttering origin sorry I get blocked where the sound just doesn't come out um so I asked her like you know are, are you from you know this continent or is this your heritage oh no that's just a nickname for my grandchild and I'm like okay then why did you tell me that was your name you know it's, it's deceiving. It's deceptive, okay? People think that white lies aren't lies. White lies are still lies, okay? Um, another example, again, I'm not going to name names right now, but there's someone um, in the YouTube community, and they were talking about, you know, this whole mask nonsense and all that, and um, and he was saying how, you know, he... Uh, that he was telling people that he had asthma or he was telling his viewers to tell people that they had asthma or something along those lines where he was basically influencing people of like, hey, this is how you can get out of having to wear, wear the mask or whatever. Um, now, my impression of this person, I assume that they don't have asthma. I could be wrong. I don't know them personally. You know, if they do, then then they weren't lying. But if you're telling people to say this just for that sake, then you're still being an ungodly influence and telling people to lie. Um, but that's a lie, okay? Like, a lie is a lie is a lie is a lie, okay? Um, another example that just came up in conversation with someone is, you know, they were telling me how... They just need to not go to work today, that they feel like God is telling them to make a trip today and do this and that and whatever. And it kind of came up in conversation about, like, you know, um, calling out of, of, of work and, and whatever. And, um, you know, whenever I've needed what, what I would call, like, a mental health day or, like, a spiritual mental health day or, or whatever it is, <clears throat> where there's nothing physically really wrong with me... Um, you know, I have made sure to pick my words, to phrase my words very carefully so that I'm not lying. You know, if you have nothing physically wrong with your body and you call out of work and say, oh, quote unquote, I'm sick, you're lying. Okay? That's lying. Um, I think recently, I'm just remembering this now, I was stating an example of someone else on YouTube and they were talking about calling out of work and claiming that you had a flat tire when you didn't have a flat tire. If you're a Christian, why are you lying like that? Okay? Like why is the why are so many people that who who claim to be Christian, who claim to be born again, who claim to have the Holy Spirit, why is everyone lying? Stop lying, okay? Like for your own sake. Okay? Bible says all liars go to hell, okay? And I'm not here to condemn you. It's not my job to condemn you. On Judgment Day, we will all stand before Christ, and, and, and that'll be that, okay? But I'm here to admonish you towards righteousness, toward repentance, toward reform. This habit, this lifestyle habit that everybody has of lying has to come to an end, okay? It is not of God. It is not godly. It is not righteous. And it's a slippery slope into other things. Because then if you're used to telling white lies, then then that can turn into, oh, well, you know, if I just take a little bit of my roommate's peanut butter without them knowing, without their permission, that's not really stealing. Like my landlord did to me months ago, okay? Um, <laughs> sin leads to sin. Uh, th uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Th there's a verse in the New Testament... Um, I think it says something to the effect of sin gives birth to death, right? Sin leads to sin. Sin leads to more sin. Sin leads to death. D sin is death, okay? Like, and ultimately, going to hell is eternal death, okay? Like, it just, it just disgusts me and it amazes me how people call themselves Christians 
and they lie. And then even when someone confronts them about it, they still, it's like they, they feel no conviction. And that to me is a huge red flag. Like, that tells me that I can't trust you, spiritually speaking, because either you're not who you claim to be, a born-again Christian filled with the Holy Spirit, or you've hardened your heart, which, I mean, still makes me question whether you really have the Holy Spirit. Um, it just... How? How are born again, supposed born-again Christians not convicted about lying? Okay? When you become born again, what basically happens is... The Holy Spirit works within you and slowly, gradually convicts you more and more and more and more and more and more and more of all the different areas of sin in your life. And people who claim to be born-again Christians, claim to be seasoned born-again Christians, this is my nail file, <laughs> um, like this woman I'm talking to, you know, um, how is it? that you're not convicted of lying. And then when another fellow Christian confronts you about it, you still refuse to, you know, admit it. Like, see it and admit it and repent of it. So, anyway, I just wanted to list out those few examples and just harp on this again because it needs to be harped on, okay? Lying is still lying. It doesn't matter if it's a white lie. There's no such thing as a white lie. Lie is a lie is a lie is a lie. Deception is deception is deception. And deception and lying are evil. Okay? This is one of like one of the Ten Commandments. Do not bear false witness. This is like Sunday School 101, guys. Okay? I don't know what else to say. It's just ridiculous. I bless you all with the conviction of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name.